said to me, she obviously, she said, Mr. Pearcey, she said, Mr. Pearcey, are you sure? Are you sure? This? I said, believe me, darling, if someone's going to be tinkering about with a knife down there, right, I am sure, I have thought this through, right, it's not, not doing that on a whim, right, she said, okay, so she put me through, first thing that happens is I get a letter, I get a letter tells you everything you've got to do, what's going to happen, you know, what you can expect, you see, me eye was drawn, about halfway down the front page, there was a hand-drawn picture of a scrotum, <laughs> it's true, with an arrow, it said, shave here. <laughs> and I like to think that in the practice they had a sort of Blue Peter style competition for the best drawing of a scrotum. Yeah. I suspect they traced it off a toilet cubicle wall. I know, and it weren't, but yeah, so, so that was the first job, really. I don't know if any of the people here have ever tried shaving a scrotum. You surprise me. It's not the easiest task, uh, and harder when it's your own. Uh, other people's, I'm fine. It's not, it doesn't bother me nearly so much. So right then, the next thing it said that caught my eye on the uh, instruction leaflet, it said, if you wish, you may bring some music to your appointment. So I, I like music, you know, calm me down, relax, what are you going to take? I thought, uh, Mac the knife. <laughs> The first cut is the deepest. Great balls of fire. But in the end, I thought you couldn't take music, could you? Because you could never listen to that music ever again, could it? You'd be driving along and it comes on the radio. You, you wouldn't want to go there. So I, I didn't take any uh, music with me. You'll be pleased to hear. But anyway, day comes to the appointment. I drive down to the clinic. Yeah, I didn't really think that through, did I? But I, I did drive down to the clinic. Uh, stripped to the waist, from the ankles up. Uh, you know, so the first part of the procedure, obviously, the administration of the local anaesthetic. Please insert your own small prick joke at this point. Okay, I'm not going to bother. So we get the treatment. So I'm ready to go. The man says to me, just lay very still. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Don't you worry about that. I'm going to make a small incision, okay? You go ahead, mate. Knock yourself out. The next thing he said to me, which he repeated several times, keep your ankles together. <laughs> Take it from me, it's surprisingly difficult to keep your ankles together when somebody is leaning on your bollocks. Uh, I never knew that before then, but now, believe me, that is true. Keep the angles together. And in he goes, as I say, not a snip, but a burn. So cauterizes the tubes, right? Burn them back. You've got to burn them back quite a way to avoid any possible reconnection later on. You see, so burn, burn back. How can I describe that smell? <laughs> I'll tell you what it's like. I'll tell you what it's like. You know when you set fire to your leg hairs? No. <laughs> you don't feel it. Well. <laughs> when you get home, right? <laughs> when you get home, set fire to your leg hairs, right? And that's what it smells like. I can't quite surprise you. Again, like the shaving, it is easier to set fire to somebody else's leg hairs than your own. So, you know, I, anyway, I'm not going to interfere. You sort yourselves out. But quite a pungent aroma. Quite, quite pungent. So anyway, all done. A couple of stitches. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not going to do myself a disservice. Very big stitches. And uh, home I go. It says, you know, in the recovery period, tight pants, two pairs... I mean, that was me stuffed. I've only got two pairs. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, you don't need many, do you? Some people have too many pants, don't they? I reckon, inside out and back to front, you've got four days there. Have you? You don't need many. So anyway, it says cool, cool the area. Well, there was an old bag of peas in the back of the freezer. Fine, right? Fine. So it's surprisingly how quick things defrost, isn't it? 
It is, though. That temperature gradient is quite sharp. You know, about 37, probably. But anyway, so they were in that the freezer quite a bit, obviously, the peas, uh, as I lay uh, in recovery. But then, of course, it's not over. You're not done, because you've got to check. You've got to check it's worked, you see. You've got to send your sample off. <laughs> sample off. And it said, said in the instruction sheet, it said, you will need to provide a sample to the laboratory. It said, after... <clears throat> Let me get this right. I've got to think this through, right? It said after 12 weeks, right, or 36 emissions. <laughs> that, my friends, is two and a half a week. <laughs> the half is a killer. <laughs> so, time passes. Time passes. I need to prepare the sample. Now, you might think pissing in one of those little pots is hard work. <laughs> you go, but I know what you're thinking. I know, you, know, don't, you, know, you think, Jack, you think, Jack, what about volume? That's what you're thinking, volume. Well, you'll be pleased to hear that the, the seed, you see, the sperm's only got sort of 3 or 4% of the actual ejaculation, you see. So, rest assured, volume hardly altered at all. So, uh, no, that was a bit. So uh, the loving spoonful in the pot, up to the lab. It's quite difficult preparing the sample on demand, you know, come the moment that's gone, really, hasn't it? It's even harder when your mother-in-law is downstairs looking after the kids. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just me. But anyway, sample prepared. Just, uh, where are you going, Dad? Uh, just got to pop out, deliver something. Why is it? Uh, never you mind, I won't be lying, I'll be five minutes saying up the... Is it that little jar, Dad? <laughs> what are you going to tip X? I'm, I'm bad. So anyway, up the lab, chung, samples in, sorted, get back home. Mother-in-law, she's very good. She's very good, looking after the kids, what, all through this long procedure. Get back, oh, you didn't need to cook them dinner. She asked, oh, all right, there's some fish fingers, found some old peas in the back of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my journey as much as I have. Thanks very much. <laughs>